Hi, I'm Pam, and I'm here to talk about retro video games. This week I replayed another game that I had played as a child, and I don't think this one is too well known. Uh, that game is Hudson Hawk. Hudson Hawk was released for the NES in 1991 by Special Effects. It was also available on a number of other platforms such as the Amiga and Commodore 64. It's based on the movie of the same name, which starred Bruce Willis as a singing cat burglar. The movie was not very well received. The purpose of the game is to steal a number of Da Vinci artifacts, which will somehow prevent an evil organization from creating a gold machine, which will ruin the world economy. If there was one cause I was passionate about as a nine-year-old playing Nintendo games, it was saving the world economy. Wait. The game has you avoiding traps and enemies in order to get through each level. You can run and jump, though the controls aren't particularly responsive, especially if you're trying to make a jump without much ramp up time. Tapping B will throw a ball, which can take out enemies, and holding B will throw a punch. As I played through, I didn't even realize punching was a thing until about halfway through the game. Very little about this game is intuitive. For example, in this level, you're supposed to reach the end with hitting the floor as little as possible. If you do touch the floor too often, you won't be able to grab the loot at the end. However, there's nothing that indicates this is the case. Also, what are these lights for? Why do they hurt me? I ended up getting to the end, not being able to grab the object, and having to restart the level again. When I played Hudson Hawk as a kid, it wasn't even a game I owned myself. Actually, I borrowed it from a cousin, and come to think of it, I don't think I ever gave it back. But anyway, it's not a game I look on too fondly, as it was pretty frustrating as a kid, and I don't think I even got through the first level before I gave up. Much like the movie, the game is a bit bizarre. There's a number of little oddities, like these flashing coins. Uh, all the way through the game, I had no idea what they did, and it wasn't until I looked up manual when I found out all they really do is add to your score. The game also raises questions like, why is there a kangaroo at the Castle Da Vinci? Here I am in the Vatican, and oh, Yep, I just punched a nun. There are a lot of frustrating aspects to this game. Pushing boxes, which you need to jump over obstacles, punishes you if you push them too far by teleporting the box back behind you. Walking into an enemy not only damages you, but also bounces you around, often to your death. Sources of damage in this game aren't particularly obvious. These things, which look kind of like electrical outlets maybe, took me by surprise when walking past them killed me. Another frustrating thing is that your health isn't displayed anywhere on the in-game UI. You need to actually go into the pause menu in order to see your health. This means when someone hits you, you don't get that instant feedback that tells you that it's damaging you. It also makes it harder to tell when you're low on health and need to be extra careful. Hudson Hawk is not a very good game. Between its poor graphics, finicky controls, and unintuitive levels and user interface, it's likely to be a bigger source of frustration than fun. Hudson Hawk isn't a very long game. There are only three levels, although they can be hard to get through with a limited number of continues and unresponsive controls. However, if you were good, you could probably get through the whole thing in about half an hour. It's an uncommon game, though it's not very expensive, probably because it's not very good. If you want to pick up a copy, you should have your head examined. But barring that, you can probably pick it up for 10 or $15 for the card. Did that guy just throw a cat at my head? I 
I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe, like, and share. Also, if there's anything you want to see me play in a future video, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching!